Hello there, Eruner here, and today we will review Paeonians. Paeonians are led by Asteropaios, a hero who is very scary, he can go full berserk, he can route enemy units or bring their defense down. He got very strong weapon and good stats, he will be very, very scary on the battlefield. On the roster, we we got trace units, starting with woodsmen, who are very good chargers, thanks to Furious Charge ability. Then we got mountaineers, who are also chargers, but they ignore terrain, thanks to strider. And pioneers brings pioneer spear fighters, who are slightly different chargers quite more offensive, but don't have extra abilities. For the front line, in the early game, you will be using Pioneer tribesmen, who got relatively weak stats compared to other front lines, but they have very early the flanking defense improved. So if you are going to have messy battles, the flanking defense improved will help them to compensate this. Then we got access to Plainsman, who is standard unit from Trace. Uh, it's quite fast, okay sword unit of the roster. And that's pretty much it. Next in mid game we got a Pioneer Spearmen, who are slightly weaker than other front lines, but thanks to their immunity to flanking, they are, they are one of the best in the scenarios when you got a very messy battle and flanking everybody is flanking everybody. These guys, if you give them more defense, they will hold and grind and ignore any flanking from enemy. They are much better than Thracian Spearman, who is very weak, trace uh, frontline unit which I do not recommend. Then in mid game we got Pioneer Shieldless Spearmen, pretty good chargers and flankers with a solid weapon and very offensive uh, stats who can also encourage your units. Very good unit, uh, recommend it. In the late game we got heavy upgrade of them, having even more attack, even more charge, more regular charging and flanking with them. And for the front line we got companions of Asteropaios who also have flanking to immunity. These will be amazing late game front lines, especially if you got messy battles. And on top of that, if they lost uh, half HP, they will get even more defense. So you can be sure these guys will have defense during the battle. For the missiles, we got forest skirmishers, mediocre trace javelin unit, which has strider that ignores terrain debuffs. Then we got Pion and Hunters, standard archer unit in early game. They don't have extra abilities, only better stamina, so if you are going to use them, they will have better stamina and better stats thanks to it. Then we got Forest Ambushers, another trace unit with Strider. It is quite average. Instead, in mid game, we can go with Pionian Archers, which are also standard, which are like standard archers, nice range, good damage and extra stamina. And the late game upgrade of archers are Pioneer renowned archers who are so well armored and heavy they can stop and block enemy chariots. They got very nice range and uh, damage like other late game missiles so we'll be having fun with your archers. For the uh, chariots 
we got chariots with strider amazing light chariot uh, unit who is ignoring any terrain very fun in early and mid game then we got a medium upgrade of this chariot but without strider we got encourage it's decent medium chariot uh, this faction does not have heavy chariots but instead we got some nice cavalry with very good stats very fast and this is a very good flanking unit uh, much recommended and also last unit the pioneer archer chariots usually i do not recommend using missile chariots because they suck but this one has a lot of ammunition and improved reload time so it is quite okay or good alternative to infant to missile infantry and it's one of the better missile chariots just for the missile output it's if you manage to spend all the ammunition then you are doing very well now i will show you uh, one sample replay for this roster we are going to attack standard settlement garrison out of the in the plain fields on rough terrain we have decided to go full together on the left side uh, we got some some cheaper frontline units the tribesmen with flank defense we will be using our woodsmen as their furious charge ability will improve our combat and then we got some solid frontline which is pioneer spearmen and to fully utilize their flanking immunity we will try to spread our battle line even more our missiles got are able to hide in uh, grass and we are trying to use that to start skirmishing and since we want to do a messy battle right away we are bringing our units forward to engage as soon as possible on the flank we got a hero with pioneer shield spearman who will be very strong at penetrating enemy lines here let's watch the spearman he dropped his defense below from 40 to 28 so we are thanks to our woodsman we are able to deal extra damage our hero will be dealing with our with enemy spearman and we can do some messy battles by going in and maybe pulling some unit away on the right side we have managed to uh, free one unit which will be very nice for going against enemy missiles here we are going to remove our weaker tribesmen from the battle they are not losing much damage so we can use spearmen to be dealing damage to enemy unit and we can use our, our woodsmen more times another when, when you cycle charge with this unit you are able to drop enemy defense very nicely meanwhile our missiles are doing well in the tall grass they are able to skirmish against enemies and obviously enemy is collapsing our hero is able to scare shielded spearmen with terrify so this unit will rout very quickly and then we will finish this army from both sides very quickly so that is pretty much it we are able to win this Victory easily to taste. so that's it i hope you will enjoy pioneers and see you later